popping everybody and happy Saturday. We are here outside of good old bits and buttons, but joining me is the brightest of diamonds. Good morning, everybody. So uh, Dave's here with me, but uh, Mike will be back, I think, in like a week or two because he's in the process of, of moving. So hopefully we'll see Mike back soon and Humpty and the rest of the gang. But me and Dave are hanging out today. We're going to hit up some stores, have some fun, and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into. You want to get? Yeah, I was going to say you want to get into trouble. All right. All right. Let's go get into some trouble. All right, guys. We're inside right now. Here is the GI Joe case. I don't know if we got anything interesting in there that I haven't seen. Uh, he's got some Cobra Bats. We got Crackmaster and Fiona. Uh, it's more bats. He's got the twins. We got some graded pieces in the case. We got Cobra Commander, Bazooka Soldier, Heavy Gunner, Falcon Pilot, Commando, codenamed Snake Eyes. Lady J and some of the vehicles. Uh, here's some of the Star Wars stuff that's three and three quarters and some Legos. Uh, the Ralph uh, Macquarie Obi-Wan and Yoda. Uh, let's see, here's some Black Series. We got Com Vanth, we got Mando, uh, some Sand Troopers, Tusken Raiders. Got Leia as Bosch. Got the Grand Marf Tarkin. Uh, let's see, we got Casca, the client, Obi Wan, more Mandos. Got the uh, artillery stormtrooper helmet, Rancors. Here's the vintage cabinet with some pretty cool stuff. I got a graded Mando back there. Got a graded Maul. Mm. Master Replica Darth Vader helmet. Kind of cool. Here are the leftover laces. You know, Humpty saw that in the last video. Humpty was rocking those Ewoks. Here's some of the 40th anniversary ones. Some more retro carded ones. Uh, let's see. Maul, Mando. Bit Fortuna, friggin' Dan. Uh, oh, these are cool. We got uh, some droid ones from uh, Disney. R6 Snow. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Got some Sokas. What he does have in right now is a massive mound of McFarland figures. And this is part of the reason why I came today because. In those McFarlane figures are a slew of Yankee McFarlane figures, and you guys know that I'm a huge Yankee fan, so there's some in here that I'm definitely grabbing for my uh, my wall, and that'll be in my office at work, because um, my office at work is like all decorated with Yankee stuff. Dave's Dave's looking at some stuff right now. Oh, this is the the spooky the spooky cabinet where the lights flicker on and off. I thought it was like motion activated for a second. I walked up and it turned on immediately. I was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> then it turned you, off. What do you got in your hand? A slash. A slash. Nice. Slash attack. Yeah, I saw the picture. You saw the pictures that Dub posted yeah. of his. Oh, his, yeah. That's his been killing. Yeah, it looks awesome. What he did with Leatherhead is awesome. I really enjoyed those pictures. Uh, we got Pee Wee with the scooter. We got a bunch of Dick Tracy. Sectosaurs, Ghostbusters. I got a bunch of Toxic Crusaders, but the lights keep flickering for some ungodly known reason. Uh, I got some Foo Fighters, Thundercats. Up oh, there it is. There's all the uh, Toxic Crusaders on card. Turned off again. Here's some Motu stuff. Loose on card, graded. Here's more of that stuff over here. The Origins. Uh, let's see, some Power Rangers, here's some Transformers, a uh, bunch of Spawn stuff, uh, here's some more Transformers stuff, oh they got Dungeons and Dragons over there, uh, let's see what else we got, we got Optimus Prime, oh, and Allison said let there be light. No. Uh, here's some turtle stuff. 
He's got the, the hunchback, the bride, the mummy. He had the Ronin one, but I think Dave snagged the last one. Uh, let's see, here's his turtle case over here. There's the sewer playset. Some pretty cool stuff in there. So, all right. Uh, let's continue looking around and let's see what's in the other room. Here's some uh, Toy Biz action going on for the Marvel. Um, got some old school legends. We got Claw. We got Constrictor. Got Adam Warlock. Got Wolverine, Juggernaut. Some Toy Biz. Here's the retro ones. We got some uh, Rhino action going on. Hercules, the War Machine, but we picked him up in the last video. Got the female Loki. Got Scarlet Witch. Uh, what else we got for Legends over here? Anything interesting? And there's the uh, Homecoming 2-pack. Uh, here's the uh, Wakanda Forever uh, Ironheart. You know what I don't like about the new packaging? I always like the little stories that they gave you on the back of the boxes, just like a quick little backstory, and they're not doing that on the new packaging, which kind of makes me sad because I like those stories, especially if you're not really too familiar with the character. At least it gives you a little bit of a backstory. So, you know, again, any little information helps. Um, he's got those giant TIE fighters. He's got a, uh, looks like he's got one ring left. Um, here's some wrestling stuff, some of the old stuff. Oh, he's got a got a blue blazer. Rest in peace, Owen Hart. Uh, got some wrestling buddies. Let's see, anything new? He's got some ultimates. Uh, there's a, an elite warrior flashback. Here's the uh, Batista. Uh, Mustafa Ali, he's got some Rocky figures. Uh, anything in the case that I don't have? I think I got all these already. Oh, there's a Freddy Blassie. Duel of the Butcher. Uh, yeah. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Anything on the other side? There's a bunch of McFarlane stuff. There's Dave doing a slow pan. Doing the oh, slow pan! I don't know where all of his... Uh, they're, they're right there. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Why? Hey, no one's supposed to go behind the curtain, guy. That's it. On the Wizard of Oz. I was about yeah. to say that. He's coming out. Uh, let's see. He's got a killer croc. I want to find the... Dude, we need to find the Bane. Yeah, we need to that. find the Bane. Uh, yeah, I don't really see much of... Oh, he's got a king shark down there. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. He's got some statues. He's got some statues going on up here. Spider-Man, Catwoman, Iron Man, Scar. Got an Iron Monger. Got a Miles and Gwen 2-pack. There's that Keaton. That Keaton Batman. You know, part of me wants to grab that Keaton Batman from my 80s, from my 80s shelf. Uh, let's see, he's got Venom, Elvira, Godzilla. All right, let's uh, let's look around and uh, see what else we got. Um, yeah, we'll go from uh, we'll go from there. Let me uh, let me dabble around a little bit and let me see if I find anything. I'm definitely grabbing those Yankee McFarlane figures because again, you guys know from previous videos, multiple things. You know I'm a huge Yankee guy. So even though they sucked this year, and they fucking lost in the playoffs. And they got swept by Houston. I'm not upset about it. Just saying. Oh, I'm upset. I'm just yeah. No, we're not going to talk about that. That's a loaded. That's a that's a loaded topic. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, look around and see what else we can find. All right, so here are all the 
Yankee ones. I'm taking this box is loaded with all kinds of stuff, and I'll show you these individually when I get back home. I'm also taking one of these last Ronin NECA ones because the shit's pretty awesome. So not gonna lie. Um, huh? Ben Bishop. Ben Bishop. Trying to amp him up. Ben Bishop. That's it. Artwork, okay. Awesomeness. All right. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna hit up some other places, and he's got to pay for his stuff and. Uh, yeah, and again, as always, thank you to the sole proprietor of this establishment. Give myself hundred dollars. Huh? Definitely no shortages of McFarland figures. Biscuit, 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 biscuits in the morning, biscuits in the evening. Are you are you uh are you feeling uh bitsy enough today? Oh, I'm definitely feeling a little bitsy today. Yankee. So. All right, guys. I'll see you at the next place. All right, guys. We left big, good old bits and buttons. We left with a massive. McFarlane Hall, which is hilarious, but it's all Yankee stuff, so it's not Batman stuff, so don't get your hopes up, folks. We don't hop DC on this channel. Yeah. You can go be Batman on his channel. Yeah, sure. Not my channel. So, uh, yeah, we're here right now outside a good old Target. We're going to see if they got anything new in and uh, go from there. We're down to figure out right now. We got a bunch of Target Macho Man. We got Roman, got Bradshaw, we got some Farouks, we got Nash, Stacy Kubler, Rollins, Cesaro's back there. Uh, they got one of Series 5 unmatched, which I've never even seen Series 4 hit the stores yet. So that's cool that the new ones are coming out. I definitely want the Sean Spears, the Brian Danielson, if we could find that LGN. Darby, that would be cool too. Uh, let's see, got the Dark Trooper, got Jawas, Mando, some three and three quarters, Shira, Seamans, uh, Buzz Lightyear, Jurassic Park stuff. Here's some Transformers. Uh, we got Shriek, Luther. Ocean Master, Wonder Woman, Adam Smasher. Uh, nothing special in the way of G.I. Joe. We got M'Baku, we got Iron Man's, Thor, uh, Blue Marvel, Speedball. So, all right. Um, I guess we can uh, call this a wrap and go see what's down the good old Nega Funko section. Let's go see what's down the neck of Funko section because there's nothing here. There isn't anything here, like you said. Exactly. I mean, this is where I think we saw the street here. Dave. Many videos ago, Mike, that I didn't buy him. Oh, so oh, him, oh. So I'm hoping this is like weeks ago. Well, hopefully they're still here for you. You yeah. didn't screw yourself. And, uh, ooh, oh, here's there? some stuff over here. There's a uh, powerhouse, Brian K. There's the target, Sammy Guevara. Yeah. More more in the back. Short troopers? Are these new? Oh yeah, those are the new ones. Yeah. yeah. An end cap with some new stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, here's a, another end cap with a bunch of Funko stuff, but we don't care about Funko. We don't. We don't hawk Funko on this channel. Funko free is the way to be. I say that, but I still buy them. <laughs> would you Would you say Funko free is the way to be? Yeah. All right, I like that. All right, and here's the good old Mecha Funko section. Uh, let's see. Oh, they got the ultimate gizmo. Uh, it looks like your uh, your SLO with the turtles, buddy. That'll teach you a lesson. Uh, it may, maybe not. Is this the one that has the signature in it? Uh, yeah, there is. A, it might still be sitting on the shelf, and I've wanted to buy it. I could buy it right now. I don't have to put but it you're not going to spend a hundred dollars. Yeah, but you just have the option for a hundred dollars, or you could buy a code for forty dollars to this auto tee thing that's never going to ship to us. There were everybody <laughs> and their brother. You guys are all right bent there. out of shape about that auto tee thing. I listen. I didn't want to buy into it, but I bought into it. Now I'm angry that I, I bought into it. I haven't. I, I I found them in a Walmart a couple of weeks ago. I didn't buy them because I have no interest in it, but I think it's stupid. I think they're going to scam people out of money. NECA themselves literally put out a picture of the 
product in the UPC so that you can go into a store with your phone and just scan it at a register so that you can get the code spit out to you. That's to the point that they're out. All right, they? Well, they don't have any product to ship anymore. All right. Well, as you guys can see, there's nothing here in this NECA Funko section. So we're going to figure out where we're going to go next. And we'll see you guys when we get there. Yep. Guys, so we are here outside of uh, another Target because, well, I got excited at the last Target because Series 5 is showing up. So hopefully we can find Series 5 in this Target and uh, continue on. So let's go inside. As we're down the figure out right now and got a bunch of Farouks, got Bret Hart, we got Seth Rollins, uh, we got Farouks, Roman, got the... Uh, Molly Holly, Chase, got Nash Carter, Scarlet, got a Christian, Nyla Roses, so no go on that. Uh, let's see, here's some Star Wars stuff, some of the, uh, what do we got, Motu, uh, some Avatar stuff, here's some Jurassic World stuff. No luck? No. Nah. I went over and looked. All right. I recorded while you were talking. Uh, let's see what's around the corner. Slew of people down the other side, so I can't even get down there, and I'm not even going to stress about it, to be honest with you. So we're here at the NECA Funko section, and see a bunch of pops. You could tell Dave was here already because this is what he was looking for, but did not find the ones because I guess there's chases, which this is the chase. This is a one in four, mm -hmm. one in four chance. So why wouldn't you grab that one? Because I like the one with the Letterman jacket. Yeah, but it's still a chase. Yeah. And then they have prototypes that are out of a hundred, and same thing with this is a chase, mm -hmm. and then same thing with Leonardo. But again, I guess you're looking for which which one? The this this Letterman one with jacket. the white. Yeah. So, all right. So other than that, there's really not much here that you guys haven't seen in any one of our videos already. So, um, yeah. Well, Ice Cube Sun is a pop. Ice Cube Sun is a pop. And he's yep. in Star Wars lore. Yep. All right. Uh, let's figure out where we're going to go next. And we'll see you once we get there. All right, guys. So, no luck in Target. But what are you going to do? Can't win them all. So, the next best thing, well, you go to Walmart. And you can see what kind of gems you can find in here. All right, guys. I'm down the figure out right now. Here's a whole bunch of Jurassic World stuff. Some Buzz Lightyear stuff. Here's... Uh, Retro card, Lady J, uh, Cobra Commander, some Transformers. There's the Predator giving the dog some sweet loving. Uh, what do we got? We got Black Panther. We got Siren. That's what it seems to be. Got some Batman stuff, some of the superpowers. There's the Flash, Superman, Green Lantern. And, um, some of the uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron stuff. We got the Razor Quest and the Slave One. Uh, everybody's favorite peg warmers, Leia and Lando. And some Fortnite. We got some Championship Showdown two packs. We got Lesnar, uh, Batista, Shawn Michaels. We got some Basics, a bunch of Braze, and Piggy! and that is about it so all right well me and dave are going to go ahead and take our sadness now over to the neck of funko section and let's see what kind of garbage is over there on the neck of funko section right now there's some pops we got uh beetlejuice uh jimmy hendrix pop pin some funko gold garbage pail kids got ultimate April, we got Splinters and Shredder two packs back there. There's a farmhouse two pack. Got Goliath, the Frankenstein, Raphael, and that's really about it. So, hot garbage. Hot garbage? I agree. Okay. Well, we're going to go see what we can find to the next door that might maybe have something. Who knows? I don't even know what to say anymore. I know. Guys, we are here right now outside of another Target in hopes of finding that AEW wave. So let's go inside. Guys, we're down the figure out right now. Obviously a lot of the same wrestling stuff we've seen. There's the Target, Sammy, Target Macho Man, Roman, Jeff Hardy, Mr. T, 
Uh, more Sammies. We got some Jawas. Some more Star Wars stuff. Uh, some He-Man. We got Pighead, Sun Man, and Space Sumo. There's the 40th anniversary He-Man. Uh, here's some more Avatar stuff over here. Got Wally and Jurassic Park stuff. So nothing special, but over here around the corner, I hear Dave talking. And uh, oh, did we find something. We did. Buddy. What did we find? We got some Spidey action. Oh yeah, they look at that. That's very cool. That's cool. Definitely the bag head, the grab one of these bag head Spider-Man. Yeah, I'll yep. have to get those. They got the U.S. agent, so I'll probably snag one of those as nice. well too, because to go with my Cap collection. There you go. Um, so these guys are definitely warm and Yeah. There's the uh, gold label Batman, uh, some G.I. Joe. This Batman's actually really cool. I like the way that Batman looks. Uh, Ghostmaker, Grifter, Lobo, Ocean Master. So, all right. Nothing special to write about except for those which we're going to grab. And uh, yeah, let's go head over to the NECA Funko section. Guys, we're down the NECA Funko section right now, and this place looks like it's been destroyed. Uh, here's some pops. Uh, let's see, you got a, just a hodgepodge of stuff everywhere. You got a whole bunch of the Turtle Stranger Things figures. Um, some Kong. What is it, the uh, Bat Cycle with the sidecar. There's the Turtles and the Street Fighters. Oh, there's the Tokar and Razor. You guys aren't getting any love. Yeah. There's, uh, everywhere. There's, There's a, a Bronx, a yeah. Demora. Uh, we got our street bag guy in here. Oh, yeah. There Fantastic you go. Bag the, ma the many faces of Spider Man. Uh, here's some Toonie Terrors, uh, American Werewolf in London. Uh, yeah, that really seems to be about it. Not much of anything. So, listen, I'm happy with what I got. Yeah. He's got that, very, very good and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's continue on down the the road of depression, down the streets of Target, <laughs> uh, not a Target, a Walmart. Yo, yeah, I don't get depressed when I come to Target anymore. I only get depressed when I go to when I go to Walmart now. So we're gonna go to Walmart and see what they got over there. All right, and we are here at our final stop of the day. We're here right now outside of a Walmart, so hopefully there's something good cooking inside. So uh, let's go see what they got. You guys, we're here down the figure out right now. Here's some Jurassic World stuff. We got more of the Lady J retros. Some Transformers. We got the Coronation Starscream, Optimus Primal, Ultra Magnus. Um, here's some Marvel stuff. Oh, we got the Nakia, Everett Ross, and Shuri. I haven't seen these. These are new. Uh, there's new Transformers. Uh, there's Sabretooth, Batman, Superpower Friends again. There's the vehicles. There's some new Republic droids. Some from the Lando. Not from the Lando. The fucking, uh, what is it? The Obi-Wan show. Friggin' Dan's. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, there's the VHS Power Ranger figures, some Pokemon. Fortnite. Uh, here's some Motu. Here's the Rotan, the Panther. Flocked for your pleasure. Oh, look at this. We got the Cody Supreme. All right, I'm probably gonna have to grab that. Uh, LJN's Hangman's Series 8, but I already have that. I've got a lot of this stuff already. Here's some basics, so. That's about it, but yeah, we're definitely gonna gonna snag good old Cody Rhodes, and uh, yeah, we're gonna wait for Dave, and then we're gonna head down the Neca Funko section. Here at the Neca Funko section, Dave's looking at the peanuts right now. There's some Funko Gold, a Goliath, King Kong's Back to the Future, all the usual stuff. That's kind of cool. Frank and Snoopy. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I give you that. There's some Funko Gold and some pops. Uh, here's some more pops. More of those Peanuts figures, Funko Gold, My Hero stuff, Avatar. Uh, here's some miscellaneous stuff over here, some Spawn. They got the Splinter Shredder 2-pack. There's the Ultimate April down there, the Mummy, some Mego figures, Witcher. Got some 
fig pins and some stuff over here. There's E.T. I'll be right here. Um, and then they got a corner of stuff over here, which is more pops and some other miscellaneous Mego stuff and some more figures. And they got a E.T. shirt with a pop, the Roman Reigns. Uh, DX NWO so alright well <clears throat> that is probably going to wrap it up for me I'm happy that I finally got this I still however do need the Brit so we'll be on the hunt for that and guys don't forget I'll leave the link in the description below for good old Diamond Dave's channel go make sure you go check him out so you can see his side of the perspective from this hunt um i also did get some stuff in the mail some stuff that i've been waiting for that i'm ultra excited to open and uh i'll show you that along with everything that i picked up when i get back home so see you in a bit all right guys and we are back home and let's go over what was picked up so um over at bits and buttons one of the things that i did pick up grabbing right now is the last ronin um neck turtle figure this thing is actually really badass looking, super cool figure. So definitely wanted to pick this up, this thing top notch. Um, then Dominic actually went ahead and got a, like a, like a slew of old McFarlane figures in. It was basketball, football, baseball, hockey. Um, he bought a collection off of a woman, which you'll see in one of his um, upcoming videos on his channel. And he was kind enough to put aside for me um, some of the Yankee ones that were in the lot and obviously gave me a good price on them. So we got uh, Hideki Matsui. We got Babe Ruth. We snagged Joey D, Joe DiMaggio. We also got Bernie Williams. If you guys um, are familiar with Bernie Williams, you know, so uh, pretty cool there. We also, oh, don't worry, it keeps, it keeps going. We got Yogi Bear. We also got Ricky Henderson, and if you guys aren't familiar with Ricky Henderson, well, he's the all-time uh, steals leader. So, uh, got Ricky Henderson. Uh, let's see who else we got. We got Mr. October. We got Reggie Jackson. Uh, we're going to keep going. We got the greatest closer in the history of baseball. We got Mariano Rivera. We got... My dad, my dad's favorite, and one of my old school favorite ball players. We got Mickey Mantle, which is awesome. And then of course, last but certainly not least, you know where this one's going. We got my man DJ, the captain. We got Derek Jeter, which is awesome. So these freaking McFarlane figures are awesome. I'm so stoked for these. Um, you won't see them here on display, but in my office at work, I've got a whole bunch of Yankee memorabilia in my office, so I'll definitely be bringing these to work and putting them in my office. So thank you so much to Dom, as always, for the hookup. All right, then next, we wound up going to that Target. Um, we found wound up finding the Bombastic Bagman, which is the uh, Spider-Man in the Fantastic Four outfit with a bag on his head because obviously he lost his suit. So that one's really cool. Um, I finally decided to pull the trigger on US Agent to go along with my cap collection. And then we wound up going to Walmart and we wound up scoring the Walmart exclusive Supreme Cody Rhodes, which this thing is awesome. I love the extra set of legs it comes with and all the other accessories. So I'll definitely be unboxing this and doing a review on this, which is awesome. And then, like I said, I also got two other items in the mail, which are right here, which will open up now. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So we've got, okay, so here we go. We got 
the non Walmart exclusive Supreme Cody Rhodes, which again comes with different color legs, um, different shirt, different belts. So pretty cool. So we have the regular one and the Walmart exclusive one. However, I'm still on the hunt for Brit. So hopefully we find Brit soon. And last but certainly not least, uh, this one is straight from ringside. And this is one that I've been waiting for. I was stoked when they announced it. Doesn't make a difference now anymore because who knows what the fate is gonna be. But we got the CM Punk First Dance ice cream bar package figure, which this is awesome. Has the, uh, the best in the world shirt. He's got the ice cream bar. He's got some other accessories in there, but this is from the First Dance. And I love that they made this like the ice cream package. So this thing is so freaking cool. So, uh, and I love the window too. Make it look like an ice cream bar. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much my haul for this week and probably one of the bigger hauls I've had in a long time. All right, guys, and that is going to wrap up another hunt video for this week. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to Diamond Dave. The link will be in the description below. Um, hopefully, we'll catch up with the other guys um, in the next couple of weeks at some point. I know Mike has a show that he's doing in Tampa this week. Um, I believe it's a one-day show, Saturday or a two-day show. I'm not sure. It's I think it's Saturday and Sunday in Tampa, um, and he'll be there with Humpty, and he'll be there with uh, Slap Happy. So if you guys are in the Tampa area, make sure you go trek over there and uh, go check that out and go buy some stuff from Mike and Jeff and Humpty. Definitely get some drinks from Humpty if you can just saying and uh yeah guys that's about it so if you guys like what you saw please be sure to give a thumbs up if you're new please be sure to subscribe as always be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of what's popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure as always you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at MCE and until next time guys that's what's popping <laughs>